Welcome to the third part of our three-part video series on subjective refraction. The first video was a discussion on the setup and getting the best vision sphere. The second one was to check and fine-tune the cylinder axis and power. In this specific video, we will discuss the final checks before a prescription is given because we want to make sure that the patient is very comfortable with their glasses. My name is Dr. Lucy. Remember to subscribe in order to receive alerts when we do upload other related videos. At the start of any subjective refraction, the first step is to get the best vision sphere. The second step is to get the axis and power of the cylinder for those patients that need the cylinder. Please note here that for each addition of 0.5 diopters of a cylinder, we have to reduce the spherical power to get the best vision. And this is the reason, therefore, for repeating the best vision sphere even after the cylindrical determination of axis and power because they keep on changing. The minute you add the cylinder, the sphere will definitely have to change. To get the best sphere, we will use the fogging method or the dual chrome test. And to use the fogging method, you need to place enough plus lenses to fog the vision to about 612 line that's about three lines behind what the patient can see keeping in mind that every line is equivalent to plus minus 0 0.25 diopters then slowly reduce the plus power until best visual acuity is obtained as a rule we aim to give the highest plus that gives the best vision if using the dual chrome test the patient is asked which view is clearer between the red or the green and then the lenses are adjusted as necessary. If the green letters are clearer, we need to add plus 0 0.25 diopters. And if the red letters are clearer, then we need to add minus 0 0.25 diopter sphere. The end point of this two chrome test is obtained when the letters on the red or the green chart appear equally dark or clear again the idea is to give the maximum positive lens that gives the best visual acuity always remember that once you're satisfied with the first eye go through the steps for the second eye to get the best vision sphere and as you can see we are doing this monocularly at first later we'll do this binocularly so once you've done the best vision sphere in both eyes we can now do the binocular balancing before we do the binocular best sphere. So let's start with binocular balancing. Binocular balancing equalizes the accommodation in the two eyes. And not, please note, not equalizing the visual acuity in the two eyes. It is the accommodation. To start, start by fogging both eyes to about 612 line with a plus 0 0.75 diopter sphere. And then direct the patient to the third line from the bottom. After this, cover one eye and ask the patient which eye sees better than the other. So you're covering intermittently and asking which one sees better than the other. So for whichever sees better, add zero plus 0 0.25 diopters. Then unfog the eyes by removing a plus 0 0.25 diopters and ask which eye sees better. Again, add a plus 0 0.25 diopters to the eye that sees better. You need to continue this process until both vision is equalized and best visual acuity is reached. After the binocular balancing, it is now time to get the binocular best vision sphere. In this, plus 0 0.25 diopter spherical lenses are added in front of the two eyes at the same time and the patient is asked if the vision gets better was or remains the same if the vision is better or remains the same then add another 0 0.25 diopters lens and repeat the process repeat this process until they see it is worse at which point you will settle for the most positive that gives the best visual acuity binocularly once you have the best vision for distance let the patient now read at about 30 40 centimeters depending on their age they will tell you if they can read or not often the presbyopic patient will require an addition plus lens to be able to read 
This should be added to their distance vision. And on average, a 40-year-old will need a plus one, a 50-year-old will need a plus two, and a 60-year-old will need a plus three. These are only but averages, but each patient is unique in their own needs, and you have to be cognizant of this. Once you have the distance and the near vision, write your prescription, the prescription of the patient correctly to the optical workshop so that the patient can get their correct glasses and be comfortable in them. So thank you for listening to this final video on the three-part series on subjective refraction. If you have not watched the other two videos, click on the link in the description to watch them. Refraction is one of the procedures that you have to be good at if working in any eye unit because most patients, if not all, will need refraction one time or another. If you have any questions, comments or feedback, please let us know. I will end up this session with a question for you, but be sure to subscribe so that you get alerts for other videos. So here goes the question. A patient had the following refraction results. Minus 2.50 diopters with a cylinder of minus 1.75 diopter cylinder at 68 degrees for the right eye and a minus 3 diopter sphere with a minus 1.50 diopter cylinder at 50 degrees for the left eye with an addition of plus 2 diopter sphere for the reading. This patient now only wants reading glasses. What prescription would you give him? Make your calculation and then check the correct answer in the description in this video. Did you get the correct answer? Let us know below. And until the next video, goodbye.